ಶ್ರೀ ಗಣಪತಿ ಶಾರದ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ಗುರು ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಗುರುರ್ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಗುರುದೇವೋ ಮಹೇಶ್ವರ ಗುರು ಸಾಕ್ಷಾತ್ ಪರಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರವೇ ನಮಃ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ಆಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಇಂಗ್ಲಿಷ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಲೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕೋರ್ಸಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಶ್ರೀ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಚೈತನ್ಯ ಸದ್ಗುರು ಗೋಂದಾವಲೇಕರ್ ಮಹಾರಾಜ್ ಟುಡೇಸ್ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ ಈಸ್ ಫುಲ್ ಫೇತ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಅರ್ನೆಸ್ಟ್ ಲಾಂಗಿಂಗ್ ಫಾರ್ ನಾಮ ಎವ್ರಿ ಒನ್ can attain the experience of god by some means or other according to one's temperament maruti devoted himself to god as a servant dasharatha loved god as a son our only thought should be how shall i attain god devotion has been considered to be the highest means to attain god if the obstinacy and love of an addicted person towards his addiction could be transferred to god the result is spiritual uplift when i dedicate my good and bad qualities at the feet of god the result is total surrender or arpana bhakti we practice devotion but it is devoid of real love this is because our mind is scattered in all directions therefore concentrate your mind first practice a little on contemplation but with single minded devotion do not practice spiritual means while under depression or with a tired mind you should consider how your spiritual attitude will get the proper direction to manifest itself all saints have told us that god is residing in pandarapura however if we see only a stone there it is not the fault of our spiritual attitude alone have full faith in god in a dark night if the lamp is taken aside a little you lose your way therefore keep your attention fixed on god and concentrate without break on nama the spiritual means when i sing with devotion before god i must earnestly feel that he is listening to me love for god does not depend on rhythm or tune have a firm conviction that you belong to god and earnestly long for for his grace whatever you do should be with single minded devotion have no grief over whatever has happened have no worry for tomorrow and do not lose the present awareness of god practice nama smarana with a feeling that god is personally present before you every utterance of nama should remind us that god alone is the doer so that pride of doership will not stand in the way true progress 
in the path of devotion is not to feel pleasure over gains or grief over losses a person who is most narrow minded and selfish and who feels that the entire world is meant for his pleasure should be considered an egoist the more the selfishness of a man the more dependent he is on others namaste sharade devi kashmir puravasini tvam aham prarthaye nityam vidyadanan chadehi me goodbye